Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Night Climber. I just added a new mod to my 2018 Honda Goldwing. I added these Gold Strike three-way adjustable highway pegs. Uh, today we're going to do a six-hour endurance test on this, uh, and we're going to see how these feel. So uh, let's go. <laughs> so uh, welcome back. Uh, we didn't quite make it out. Uh, didn't quite make it out from uh, the opener there. So it's the next day. Uh, it's pretty early in the morning. It's about uh, 6.20. Uh, like I said, this is going to be about a six hour endurance uh, test just to check out these uh, Gold Strike three-way adjustable highway pegs. I don't know if you can see these on either side. So I'm usually good for, I don't know, a couple hours. Uh, when I ride, before I have to start stretching or stopping, so I gotta shift my butt around and legs around. Uh, so this one I'm gonna stop, uh, or we'll, we'll check in about every hour uh, and see how it goes. So I would imagine the first couple hours probably I'm gonna be, I'll be all right. So uh, I'll show you uh, the map of the route that we're gonna take. I'll put that right up here. Uh, and as we go along, then we can evaluate how these pegs are doing. All right. All right, I'm happy to have you along. Uh, we'll check in with you in about an hour. All right, so we are currently about uh, one hour into our ride. You can see right there. Um, and we just passed uh, Lennox Mass, so just north of Stockbridge. I'll show you that up here in the map. All right, so uh, yeah, a lot of... Uh, it's like a lot of fog this morning. So it looks like it's burning off with the uh, sun right there. And uh, so far so good. Now the seat, uh, you know, the stock seat feels fine. Um, you know, they put you in this kind of in a 90 degree angle for the foot pegs oh, it all feels feels good so far i know everybody complains about that seat uh you know it, it does get uncomfortable and it will here um but it you know it's generally good for a couple hours before i need to change oh i just missed that light yeah so far so good on the pegs i don't really uh feel like changing my foot position yet or seat position or, or anything like that so so far so good at uh hour one so we'll uh, check again in uh, another hour
right guys we're about at the uh, two hour mark at this point uh so here we are in bennington i tell you my butt's starting to hurt on the seat so i haven't used the uh pegs yet but i'm definitely putting on the uh seat pad here so it's a uh, air hawk i don't strap it down it has like uh some friction stuff on the bottom so it just kind of stays there and I don't stand up anyway so pretty much under my ass the whole time <laughs> not just fe feeling the same thing all the time right so you're kind of start wiggling around and you kind of shift your weight uh, to your left and then you shift your weight to the right uh, so the air hawk just gives you a, a little reprieve so it's not like I'll sit in this for the whole way yeah so we're good uh, for right now I don't feel like I have to use the uh, pegs yet. I was feeling like I need to do that when I was on the uh, regular seat, but not, uh, now that I'm on the airhawk, it feels okay again. So we're two hours in. That seat was definitely getting to me, so... I think that's true of any motorcycle seat. I don't think there's any perfect seat out there. Alright, we'll check in in a little bit. these like every five minutes it's uh not so much my legs it's my butt i think with any motorcycle seat you know i'm going back to the fj 1300 i had before this uh, I had a couple of those uh and some bikes before that like it, there's no perfect seat out there i know you could spend like a thousand dollars on a seat but that seems ridiculous like anything that you sit on for a long period of time, it's just gonna not be comfortable after a while, right? Uh, you know, I'm driving an F-150. I love that truck and I go, you know, we, uh, we drive from Connecticut all the way to Columbus, Ohio. I don't know, is it seven, eight hours? Uh, you know, it, the F-150 has got really nice seats in it, but even after, you know, six, seven hours, you're ready to shift around and stuff, so. Yeah, I'm digging these pegs. Definitely worth the money at this point, but. All right, let's try it in another hour. We'll try it at the end. I'll give you my thoughts then.
All right, guys, we are, uh, I'm like within two miles of getting back. So we are uh, five hours, 44 minutes, just under six hours for this endurance test uh, for those uh, Gold Strike three-way adjustable highway pegs. These things just work phenomenal. Before, I would just put my feet right here on this guard for the uh, engine guard. Um, but now that I have this, totally, totally much better. In fact, I, I find myself normally putting my foot there. Um, but to lock my knee out, I'll put like my heel up here. Actually, it doesn't go quite that far. I have these all the way in the forward position. So uh, my heel doesn't quite go all the way. But it's probably like right here. So at least I can lock my knee out. Because um, you're in such a cramped position the whole time, right? So with this way, um, you're able to, to at least have different positions over a long period of time. Um, when, you know, when I, I was talking about the cornering before, uh, when you have uh, deep cornering, I didn't find myself hitting those pegs at all. Um, actually, it has the same type of V-section that you would normally have on a, on a regular bike with the regular pegs. So this way... Um, it's a good value. So it's like 175, 350 for the whole thing. So that's what I have this week. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, we'll see you down the road. Thanks.